What's up everybody, Funnel Doc here. So today we're gonna to go over one of the basic things, setting up an email list. So first of all, you can find email list either under the Action Addicts tab, or when you're clicked on the Action Addicts tab, you'll see that it's right here to the actual left. So you can click there, and it'll go there just as so. Here are all your different lists. I would recommend keeping them grouped. For instance, here's my Funnel Doc Virtual Summit. I have all my different lists in through there. It will just be easier. Here's my funnel, uh, agency secrets, etc. And I recommend keeping them the list sort of um, broad with all your different lists underneath it. So, for instance, here we've got on the funnel doc, we've got the opt in list, speakers list, affiliate, during summit purchase, purchase, and abandoned cart. You know, so we've got a, a, a plethora of different lists, but they're grouped all underneath one specific topic or, or, or one specific um, product. It's just easier to, to um, keep them gathered that way, i found, rather than making an individual list or any other way. But of course, do whatever feels comfortable for you. Just remember that you're going to want to be giving it a group name, which you'll be getting into, which would be like this name, and then you'll give it an individual name. So anyway, when jumping in the list, first thing you're going to do is go to the list page like we just showed you. You're going to click on the orange yellow button right here, which says add new list. Here you're going to have the name of the new list. So this is going to be my key, a key, I can't talk today, KLT series is uh, the name of this list which is no like and trust this is my engagement series list where once you put on the or put on this list they're going to be building that um no like and trust series they're going to be testimonials there's going to be blogs there's going to be podcasts there's going to be value there's going to be all types of stuff and some offers thrown in along the way but it's basically a, a series of emails that ascends the customer through the customer journey from not knowing anything about you to being a raving fan so roughly in about 30 days if they open all the emails and everything goes right, they'll learn, go from very, very cold traffic, know nothing about you, to very warm traffic. And that is the purpose of the Know, Like, and Trust series. It's to build the know, like, and trust of you to your potential new client or customer. Group tag, we're of course going to do this under the Funnel Doc group tag because this is my Funnel Doc Know, Like, and Trust series. Now, we're gonna click real quick here uh, and just make a standardized list. In one second, I'm gonna show you how to set a dynamic smart list. So this is just basically a very simple list. I'm gonna click now. And now I have a list here. Now if I wanna add a follow-up funnel, you'll see here it says create follow-up funnel. So what I do next would be to create my actual follow-up funnel or like my welcome email or my first email. So we'll jump into that real quick. So we're gonna name this follow-up funnel K K L T uh, series, and then the group tag is going to be funnel doc again. I can't type doc, and then who will receive this funnel? Now you'll see the list we made. Newest list are always at the bottom. K L T series. There you go, and boom. And now you go into making your actual email. We're not going to get into that today, but I just wanted to show you how you'd actually flow from the list, which I do recommend. Make your list, then click there and go right into the follow up, so you'll be able to see what emails, text, etc. would happen to go on. Now going back to list real quick here, we're going to show you how to do a dynamic list or a smart list, is what they call it. So. Once you clicked on the add new list button here, we're gonna just demo this one for you guys. So we're gonna name this and we're gonna add it to our demo group, demos. Now, when you toggle this button on right here, you see now it's like an orangish color, it's on. That means we're going to be creating a smart list. So when I create the smart list, it's gonna ask for a rule. Now, as we've spoken, I've spoke about in other videos, creating follow-up funnels, etc. rules are very powerful, but here's where you really get to play with some of the magic in ClickFunnels. So first of all, if you wanted to make a list of say, like, like people that had a certain social media following, you click here and we could do something like, let's see what happens if we go YouTube followers, uh, equal to let's just say a hundred YouTube followers or see so what will happen now is because it says only include contacts who meet all the requirements anyone who has a hundred YouTube followers tracked in Actionetics would be pulled in this list now if I wanted to have it even segmented down to where maybe I wanted them to have a hundred YouTube followers but I also wanted them to be to have 
um, like 100 Instagram followers. Now, I know these are very small amounts, but I'm just doing it because I want to make sure you'll pull someone, and I don't know what the stats are inside the action ads. So we'll put this. So now when we build this, the person not only has to have a uh, 100 YouTube followers, but they also have to have 100 Instagram followers. Now, if I wanted it to be a or a group, so I want it to be like YouTube followers equal 100, or I hit this button and said, instead, and now you see the or value pops up. If I wanted it to keep it and, which means they have to meet that exact criteria to be on this list, you just keep clicking here. So I like maybe I wanted them to be uh, YouTube followers equal 100, and I wanted them for people that have opened, or you see here you have open, never clicked, etc. Open email step equal to, and then maybe it's my um, KLT series that we just went into. So here we go, KLT series. Uh, bam. So what if it's like that one? Or if I wanted to add the or value, then I could do any of the other things. So maybe I wanted to say, or it could be anyone that happened to hit funnel step, and you click in here. You scroll down, you pick visited or never visited. We're going to say visited funnel step equal to, and we'll say like a funnel labs or something like that. Or anyway, you can pick any of the products you want. Here we'll scroll down. So maybe we wanted to say they've been to the opt in page but had not been or have been to the sales page. So maybe I wanted to say never visited this step. So now I could target people who had been to the opt in page. So if I clicked in here, so now I deleted that row. So now this group would only target people who have never visited step equal to that, so to the sales page. So if they've never visited the sales page and they're in my entire database, it's now going to pull all those people and compi compile it. And you can add or change those um, rules. So they're very dynamic. So say it's building a list now. It takes a couple minutes to do it. It's not instantaneous. But say I wanted to go in here you can now go in and inside your list once a list is set let's find it here demo smart list boom so yeah the oh the rule didn't that's weird i wonder why the rule didn't keep i must not oh i didn't hit save rule groups yeah <laughs> so anyway that's what you want to do and make sure like you said you're going to hit save rule groups i could have swore i did that's why i was tracking but maybe not or maybe this one was the one that I had, demo. Yeah, oh, it was demo, not smart list. Sorry about that. So this was what it pulled right here. And you'll see um, it had 1,900 people pulled out that met that criteria of never been to my funnel doc sales page. So then maybe I wanted to send them an email or broadcast or anything like that. You'll see you can easily do it here. So if you wanted to edit your smart settings, you just go right here to edit your smart settings. And do 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 now you can go in and change your rule group. So now maybe I want to add a new rule or take a rule out. Well, the great thing about smart lists is they're very dynamic, so they're changing all the time. And once you set these rules, anyone that's new that comes into Actionetic system is actually, if they meet the criteria, they'll be grabbed and pulled on that smart list. So like I said, it's a constantly growing and changing things. It's one of the very powerful tools within Actionetics are smart lists, and I don't think people use them enough. So make sure you're checking this out. Start playing with it, testing it, drawing in groups so that you're able to target and send special uh, action or uh, follow-up funnel sequences to. I hope this helped you set out your or set up your email list. I'm the Funnel Doc, and if you could, please smash that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what type of videos you'd like to see, and I thank you for your time. Funnel